Hi, this is Chris Tilley at George Mason University, and today we're going to talk about using PowerPoint to create graphics for video. Now, the main point of this video, of course, is to show you how to export slides to use in video editing software. Uh, but before we do that, I want to give you a couple of really quick layout tips for uh, when you're creating your graphics. The first one is called the grid. Uh, basically, what this is going to do is give you a safe margin. Uh, when you're dealing with video editing software, sometimes you might have to scale an image or even crop an image to make it fit into the window. So, I like to use the grid line feature in PowerPoint. You can access it by going up here to the View tab and then coming over here to where it says grid lines and you click on that. Now you've got this little dotted line grid and what I like to do is make sure that all of my content is within one block of each slide. So you see we've got a full block between the edge of the slide here and the content. Uh, I've already got a nice little buffer there in the bottom and the top this way you know that if you do need to do any scaling or cropping the important part the content that you're creating will still be there All right. the next layout tip is to keep it concise uh, you want to make sure that the slides are easy to read and make sure that uh, they don't have too much information uh, there's sort of a mindset in using PowerPoint for presentations that you can put a lot of information on there. And, you know, in a classroom environment, that may be fine. But when you're creating a video graphic, you don't want to have too much information on each slide. So uh, in this example, this is an example of kind of what not to do, uh, is overwhelm the viewer with a lot of text that could jumble up. So instead of having all of the information on one slide, see if you can break it up into, uh, into slides that have a little bit less uh, on there. I think that you'll be able to see a, a difference in how much easier it is to actually read these slides and get the information out of it than you would if you were back here. So the last tip is to use your space well. Um, it doesn't look quite it doesn't look quite right to have a lot of blank space on a screen. So if you have the chance, you can either increase the font or increase the font size, I should say. And you can also add graphics. Let's do something like this. So if you've got a graphic that can uh, relate to what you're talking about, in this case, uh, using space, <laughs> um, that's a good thing to have. It's, uh, it really adds something to the presentation. So to sum up, you want to make sure that you've got safe margins, and you can use the grid for that. You also want to make sure that each slide uh, has just the right amount of information, not too little, not too much, and make sure that it's easy to read and you also want to minimize blank space and to do that you can use larger font or you can also insert graphics All right. so now that you've made some graphics <clears throat> excuse me uh, now I'm going to show you how to export them into a graphic file type that a video editing software would be able to use what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to the top uh, tab where it says file and you're going to go to save as now, you'll notice down here as save as file type, uh, it defaults to PowerPoint presentation. What we want to do is we want to click on there and scroll down to where it says the JPEG option. There we go. JPEG file interchange format. We'll click on there, and now what's going to happen is all of the slides are going to be saved as an individual JPEG file. So we'll click save. Do you want to export every slide in the presentation or just the current slide? I want to do every slide. OK, so now it's done. We'll hit OK. And I'm going to minimize PowerPoint here. And now I'm going to show you it's created a file, PowerPoint for video. 
and in it are all the slides that we just made. And so now there is JPEGs and you'd be able to use them in any kind of video editing software like Premiere, Final Cut, or what have you. Alright, well, good luck with your video project and we'll talk again.